Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we happened to leave the, lead the, uh, lead Laguerre and his sliths on further into, uh, the Ocean of Lava, which is apparently too hot even for sliths, even though they prefer heat. Which, again, as I said before, makes me feel sorry for poor Bonnie. Anyway, we've made it into the next area we need to get through. Or are about to go into it. Which, I believe, is an old Vanatai, uh... Experiment hall of sorts. Laboratory, that's what I was looking That's the word I was looking for. So, let's go in and see if we can find our way through. You see more signs of an ancient battle. Goo, wayward fields, and blood. Al across the room, you see a very old corpse, which looks strange to you. You look closer. Little is left of this body except a skeleton. Unlike everything else you've seen around here, though, the skeleton is clearly humanoid. Moreover, it is long and thin, with features that are clearly Venati. This corpse is Venati, but more is hard to tell due to the many, many years between death and the present. The question remains, though, what were Venati doing here in the middle of the Slith Empire? Well, we will find out eventually. Okay, we're definitely not going over that. Oh, hello! That came out of nowhere. Uh, we got a whole bunch of them over there, so go ahead. Cast your major haste. And... Cast that on sheep. And wait. And you cast the healing. Oh, I see another Naga up there. by Kalandin that uh, there's no reason to cast slow twice. I'd like to point out here, I cast slow once, and these guys are moving two turns in a row. I cast slow twice, and they are guaranteed to only move every other turn. That's the difference.
kill this naga already? I have a feeling we're gonna be fighting even more of these in a bit. Seriously, kill it already. There we go. Okay. Even though that was just the first room, I kind of want to get my energy back, so... I'll be back in a second while I run back to do just that. Alright, that's done with. Let's move on. Alright, I see more in here. So, let's get this major haste cast. And casting of uh, that. Which I cast at just the right time, apparently. Wow, this is a big room with a lot of these guys. difficult than I expected. Reloading! On the plus side, now we know what's down there. Okay, cast uh, Draco. Blessing spell book. Major haste. Wait. I 
I think that Naga's gonna be coming at us soon. Yep, here comes the Naga. And I see two more of those lizards. Yep, here they come. So wait. Try and do what you can to kill that lizard. And you slow immensely. again. Okay, these fire lizards are getting quite irritating. These guys are getting quite annoying. At least we're only dealing with three of them this time. Okay, wait. Wow, managed to get off three. Wait. about the Naga. The Naga isn't much of a threat. These lizards, however, are a huge threat. Yeah, if they both went at the same one, this would have been very bad. got left is this one naga. And there we go. Alright. 
See if there's anything of value in any of these nests. Doesn't really appear to be anything. I take it back, there's some bars of silver. And bars of gold. Although the amount of yellow that they are, they look like bars of piss. Alright, before we go into that area, I want to see what's down there. Alright, let's take a look. You round this corner and come into view of the ruins of an old Venati town. Metal is scattered around everywhere. Must have been a smithing outpost once. The lava ocean must have provided an ample supply of various useful minerals. Then it was attacked by powerful magic. The battle was so long ago that most of the remains are gone, with little more than some bloodstains and a few dissipating fields left. Skeletons, some recognizably Venati, some not, have lain here ever since. Little remains at all now, except a few bars of useless metals and a handful of very large roaches. This place was obliterated thoroughly, although perhaps something useful still remains somewhere in the ruins. Okay, large roach. That, that I think, should be easy to deal with. Very easy. I'll take this. An unidentified hat. You know, before we look through there more, let's take a look at what's to the north. See what's in that room. Ah. This book is written in an extremely archaic form of the Slith language, somewhat older than the Kalthanad. It appears to be a book of prayers. Translated into the modern idiom, it reads, That you shelter and protect us, we pray, O gods of the afterlife and the beyond realms, and keep us safe from the clutches of Nigathlagzanth and Hathnazriak, who contend for our souls always. It continues in this vein for some time. The language is beautiful. Ut ritan servacas nois cult thefacas. But no, but old and hard to understand. And evidently the praise did no good. Uh, this, the book on this pedestal here is badly damaged, but you can read some of it still. It appears to be a book of magic. Attempt to read it. Due to your knowledge of arcane lore, you can read it. It's a spell book describing how to cast bone chill more effectively. You read over it carefully. Excellent. Bone chill level two, I believe. Which is good. Or it would be if I used it more often. I mean, I guess it might be handy now, since we're fighting lava creatures and the like, but... Well, here's an old room. Hello. Bars of tin, don't need to take those. Oh, hello, didn't see you there. Okay, these guardian roaches are weak. I have a feeling it was probably just overlooked a bit. Not meant to be this weak, but it is anyway. Bars of lead. In this desk, you find a note written in a dialect of the ancient Slith language more archaic than even than the Kalthanad. My name is Elintel, and I write this note that when the investigators from Thassaka come, they may discover the truth of these things, otherwise murky and impossible seeming. That the laboratory in the east has transgressed is beyond doubt, having discovered and unearthed an evil so ancient and terrible that throats tremble to speak of it. They looked upon the very image of doom and expired. From its release, destruction it sought, horror to all, reptilian murder, cutting scales with baneful fires of the eyes, strange screams full. What it was not, I know, but, it, but that it came, but that it be some blackest god come to dash our souls from our corporeal forms. All outposts here lie destroyed, even before I came. I did seal the upper chambers from the lower, but the foul beasts of the violent god have found another path, and I must now speed away or gaze into the open maw of death. I carry with me the last remaining laboratory key, with the desperate hope that I may take to Thassica the power to enter the heart of the darkness and defeat it. I go now. They come. Several things about this note strike you as you read. This note must predate the founding of the Empire of Kalthas to be older than the Kalthanad. 
It was written by Evanati in the Slith language. Thassica, a laboratory? Ancient evil? This land may hold many more secrets and answers than you first realized. And that leads out. But I think there's a hidden path. Aha! There is. This is the body of a Venati. That much you can still recognize after centuries of decay. It carries a note written in a shaking hand. The evil that Vilas awoke has reduced the metal world to dust. I hid here out of sight, hoping to escape when they passed on, but I brought no water, no food. Now my folly is apparent. I have barely the strength to write these words. But I must write to warn. Here the writing loses vigor. If you enter the lab, do not trust the demon, silver-tongued but a liar. He will destroy. That you will not trust. It is imperative. Not listen. Not trust. Do not. Thus the writing fades. The urgency is plain in the final few words. Udnak kridas peklar nak akisas nekredahas tunak. Okay. So the person who wrote this, Ellen Tell, took the last key into the uh, into the laboratory, which we saw to the east, but couldn't get into for some reason. He said he locked it so that I guess nobody can get in from the outside. But it is possible to get inside probably from the back way, which is what we're probably going to have to do. And we're probably going to end up in there to deal with this... What was it? Vilas? Vinus? Something like that. That... Oh boy, we're gonna be fighting demons again. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Let's head back and... Rest up, recover our energy, sell the bars we found. And I think I might end the episode there. Let's see, you. Oh yes, we do have something that needs to be identified, this hat we found. Muck walking hat. 15% chance of saving life, 20% resistance to illness and acid. Why do you keep giving me this? And plus two to Majory. Ooh, that's actually good. That could go to Draco or Bonnie. Alright. Yes, we do have things to sell. The silver and gold. Alright, what are you two wearing? A ruby helm, which is resistance to fire damage, and a helm of speed, which is plus one action points or less. You do usually get... He has, I've found, had an extra point now and fairly often, but... He doesn't have very much protection, and he's often in the front lines. I've had people look at me go, Why do you do this? He needs the speed! Speed is so much, is so useful! Yes, I know. Being able to attack twice and around regularly is very nice. But, if you get killed right off the bat, or if you can't do any damage, what's the point? I've been putting Draco on the front lines often enough that this 1 to 3 protection isn't really helping. The Helm of Runes is massively helpful there. The Rogue's Cap, I mean the extra tool use, is useful. But Draco? Draco, you could use that extra Majory. The extra chance of saving life probably wouldn't be bad either, so you're taking this muck walking hat. I'll hold on to the Helm of Speed for now, but for now it's that. Okay, Fox! Blade Master to five. I want to try and get that as high as I can, so I'm going to be working on that. Save up your skill points for now. We'll be using more later. Sheik. You've got Blade Master, which is good, and I'd like to improve that too. So let's try and get to that as well. Bonnie. Still not there. I've given you 20 points of dexterity, and you still don't have resistance. What are you missing? You have enough hardiness. You have enough endurance. What are you missing? And Draco... Improve your resistance a bit. Alright. And with that, I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll go down. We'll go through that new path we have down in the uh, down as we get closer to the labs. 
that'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blaze of Vernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.